everyone, Karen the Warp Spinster here. Thank you for spending some time with me today. And welcome to week five of the design challenge. I will be going through the process of designing on the prompt that you all got last Sunday. And then I will give you the prompt for this upcoming week. The prompt was your office or your workplace, whatever that might be, however you might define it. And I've got lots of offices, have had plenty of offices, traditional sorts of offices in my life, but I decided that I'm going to go with a car. In my mortgage paying job before I retired, I spent a lot of time driving around and while I, of course, didn't do work like reading and, and writing things while I was driving, I did do a lot of thinking in the car, and I'm not entirely sure that I didn't spend more time in various cars over the years than I did in a traditional office space, though I had traditional office spaces as well. So I'm going to go with a car. And... Here we go, various things about cars and specifically some of them that I drove over the years. First thing that comes to mind is, uh, whoops, all of the gauges in cars. So that of course calls for a circle and that doesn't hurt my feelings any. Now, there are various markings on these gauges and say for the speedometer, we've got the miles per hour around with tick marks around it. And I don't necessarily want those in the circle, but we will have little tick marks, which I'm going to indicate more as oval kinds of, well, very long oval or rounded rectangles or something. And then there are thinner ones in between, of course, where you have the, I don't know, every 10 miles per hour, is it? And all the time you, I've spent in cars, you'd think I know that. So something along those lines is possible. And then, of course, we have the indicators themselves. And I'm just looking at the interior of the car around the space where I am. There, let's see, we've got windshield wipers, which have interesting sort of frames, which I'm not sure I can actually recreate here, but say it's something like that is the frame. That's kind of an interesting shape. Um, there are vents in the car at least one of them that I drove, that are sort of like this. And then they have a sort of a dial thing in the middle, which I could... Now, let's, let's indicate that as more of a, a rounded thing on top of that, which would go over the top of that. Not to belabor that, we're just sketching. Then there is the radio. Now, when I first started driving cars and then as I was driving them for work, radios had actual dials. And then you had the, well, this was sort of the dial. Those were the knobs for turning the dial and then you had the various things here with markings and then you had the buttons below to select the stations honestly i thought this was a whole lot easier than what we have with the all the digital stuff in the car i really am not a technophobe but some things just i don't know they aren't my thing. And I really kind of like that whole thing. So, so these buttons, you used to just pull it out, go to the station you wanted, um, pull the button out and then push it in and it would lock that station in for that button. 
So that's a kind of an interesting sort of thing there we could do. What else? Of course, there's the steering wheel, which again, we have that circle, but various things, oops, various things in the center. So, um, yeah, there's a circle within a circle, of course. And then it might have something like this in the center. Oops, pay attention, Karen. Like when I'm driving, pay attention, Karen. And that could be a sort of an interesting thing to do. Um, then, of course, there are turn signals and and all sorts of things. And the dash itself, which <laughs> you can have all kinds of interesting things floating around in them. Um, I generally didn't have anything very interesting in work cars because they were registered to the state, so didn't want to have too much funky stuff going on in a state car. Um, so the dashboard, of course, is it could be like a base shape under something or maybe repeated on top of itself. I don't know. So let's choose one to get started. And I'm kind of liking this windshield wiper thing. So I'm going to select it better than that. Put it on a new layer and hide everything except that. Now, let's make it a little bigger. And what can we do with that shape? Oh, that's kind of interesting. It's almost architectural too, isn't it? Like with a roof line. That's kind of interesting. What if we made those both larger? I don't hate that just as a design, honestly. It's very minimalist, of course, but, and I could do all kinds of colors, or it could be a black and white or a gray quilt. And let's fill that in with, I don't know, let's find a color you all will be able to see. Put that on the correct one. And then maybe on this one, a little bit lighter one. And I don't know about that in between. We could do something really fun. What color do we want to go with that? We could do a hot pink. We could do a purple. Let's try this. Oops. Which one am I on? This one, I think. Oh, those aren't closed shapes. I will make them close shapes here. I kind of like that. Let's try just some other things because if we repeat it, if we want three things, you know how I am about three things. throws everything off, at least when it's in that direction. Now it starts looking like houses going up on the hill. What if we sort of changed the size and shape of that and started building this up a hill or a cliff or something? I know your brain probably works a little more reasonably than mine. Mine is gone from a windshield wiper <laughs> to a city on a hill. And let's do that and maybe stretch this one up this way a bit. Well, that makes it look more like a hut. 
than a sort of modern design I'm looking at here. Then, probably, and these would be different colors going up the hill. But we haven't repeated that, and I think I might want to do that for something here. That goes up here. We're definitely need, going to need to make that smaller. And then this one needs to move up a bit. But I want to put it, I think, in opposition to this. So these down here are like this, which is not a bad thing. I'm wondering if I want to do that instead, give it a little more variety. And that is now giving us this sort of receding into the background thing. So I'm kind of liking that. I might end up rearranging things a little bit. I probably will drop all of that down. And if I wanted something very symmetrical, I could, of course, just stack these all the way up. One, two, three, four, five, six. I may want, let me duplicate this one again. Come on. And move it up here somewhere. Needs to be smaller still. Nope, I think I want it going this direction, and it may need to go. I'm not sure, but something like that anyway. I kind of like that. All right, we will save all of these as a group, and now we'll go back here and find. Let's try. All this radio button thing. I think I first of all want to do something with the, the push buttons. And let me just make it all a little bigger. And somehow do a repeat of those. Those to be still bigger, I think. And this could really be a minimalist kind of thing. Uh, let's go with this. I think you can see it pretty well. Let me just do this on another layer. Be a little better about the color here if I just... Well, Procreate became disenchanted with me and locked up, and it had not been saved yet, apparently. So it doesn't auto-save, and... So I lost that, but fortunately I have it on film, right? So we're back to the buttons here. And I'm just going to do several of these and then kind of play a little bit here. Particularly horizontal, but we're sketching. Doesn't matter. Now I can leave it like that. It begins to look like Morse code. And, ooh, which could be an interesting thing too. In fact, we could double it up because we could also do, we have the circles for the buttons, right? And we're going to do these in uh, let's do a purpley kind of thing, but not so too dark. And we've got a couple of buttons that we could put behind or in front of them, or both. That's going to probably be kind of hard on your eyes. Let's try, try that gold. may not be much better. 
And if we do more than one of those, and maybe we're going to change the size. Maybe I don't want another one of those. Definitely want another color. I don't know if I want that. Let's hide that for the moment. And what happens if we take these and duplicate them so we have another set and we change sizes and maybe shift them over a little bit. And we do that again. Change it even more. I'm wondering if I want to flip those though and have the heavier underneath and the lighter on top. Let me see if I can pull this off this way. <laughs> okay. So that's a possibility. Let me bring back this one. Oops. And maybe change the color on it. You know, let's make it black. We need to do something of like static on the dial. <laughs> Not hating this. Don't know about the colors, of course, but those are easily changed. I could make these different colors, although I don't tend to want to put a lot of colors into a more minimal, minimalist design. Do I want a third circle? My brain says yes. Another part of me may say no. We'll see. And just to be able to differentiate them, I will make this one something that's not going to drive you all crazy. I'll probably use a different green, but not worrying about that at the moment. What if that goes? Nope, don't like that. That's not bad. It adds a little bit of verticality to it. Not sure about that, but it's a possibility. Or that one could go on top of the black here. I don't know why I like it better. I have to play with that some more. But this is, I think, a pretty good possibility. Now, when I'm recreating these for you, I will have to just post photos of them after the fact at the end of the video because I lost the, the first part of it. So, let me think, what else did I have on that? We had the radio, we had the vents, we had the, oh yes, all right. Here's one more, th another thing we could try. We had those things for the dials. Let me see if, no, let, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> so we'll do something like that and then have, oops. shorter line and then I could do a shorter line still and then maybe say a red line because as I recall were there some red lines on the designation doesn't matter doesn't matter at all because we are doing our own thing just taking inspiration from the radio dial. 22.6 on you. Oh, and then we had the AM and the FM, of course, which we still have, but 
it was more prominent on the dials. Um, all right, now we could, in fact, take that and flip it and do something else with that and of course move that around any old way we want might be like that what if we flip it this way Ooh, that's kind of fun and it's sort of radio like with those hmm I'm not hating that just on its own. Um, with this one, I'm going to shift these so that it does look more like the radio, not exactly waves, but you know what I mean. That might look kind of nifty. They might need to be a little longer. Let's do that. Let's do another black one that is longer still. But moved over a bit. All right, let's try moving these around a little bit. Okay, so we could do this. And then let's take this bunch here. and have it go the opposite direction and off the quilt. Might be too much. I liked it when it was just a few things, so I don't know how I feel about that, actually. Let's Take these two with it and take it back up. I don't want it dead center vertically, but I might be okay with it. I like it. I could add pieces in the background, of course, but I don't know why I would. Let me just, for the sake of trying something, let's do a these are not necessarily colors I would choose. These probably are, but other things I'm just doing colors that are not going to drive your eyes crazy. Well, that was poorly done, Karen. Let's do... I know I don't want just stripes behind it. Well, that's not too bad either if I used a different color there. What if I used a gray? Doesn't have to be a dark gray. I want a pretty light gray. Um, as I recall, the light gray doesn't show up very well. Oh, I don't mind that. Okay, I don't mind that at all. The other thing might be something like this, but I think that's too much. This sort of grounds it. And that was just too much repetition of this thing. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was going to go anywhere with that particular choice for design, but I like that one too. Now, what else did we have? We had the vents, which are really pretty much like that. Um, we did the windshield wiper, radio, radio dial. Let's go with just kind of the shape of the dashboard, which is very different everywhere. Um, let's do gray. It's the color of my dashboard now, so 
not a work car, but all right, I'm going to do a, I don't know, this sort of shape. Oh, that's like the mirror, isn't it? Ooh, I didn't even think about the mirror. Look, as much as I used the rear view mirror, I would think about that, wouldn't I? Do I want it to be filled in? Do I want, all right, let's do another one. I don't have really high hopes for this after my initial, ooh. Let's make that an orange. I don't know how stacking anything is gonna do much for us here. If you're into sort of just shapes, that could work. We also have the bit that, come on, holds the mirror, which we could do. That looks like a microphone. But it's another shape to add to it. We're doing a very abstracty kind of thing here. Hmm. Not really feeling this at this point. I don't know. I'm liking this much. All right, let's ditch the orange one. It might, I might feel better about it if that was shaped better. Um, well, that has some possibilities, repeating that shape. Uh, all right, what if we duplicate that? You know me, I have to do those threes. I think I want to change that shape, though. It got me started, but I'm not sure that I like it. Let's try a different shape back there. Maybe just a rectangle. Could still do the gray. Let's try this gray. Hopefully you can see this one. I'm really into that. <laughs> Rectangle shape there, aren't I, today? Ooh, now it looks like a key in a lock, doesn't it? Hmm. Hmm. All right. <laughs> oh, we've gone into all sorts of different territory today. I want to do another one because, you know, me. And let's choose a different color for the back. And then have some overlap on these two. Where do I want to put it? Help me, Mr. Wizard. Maybe a little narrower. Still catching both, ooh, no, no. How about if I rotate it though and... Made it 
much narrower. Yeah, I don't know about that at all. Oops. Yeah, that's better, but I'm not sure I like it yet. It might grow on me. Um, this, now I'm seeing microphones here. It has promise. I'm not sure what I would do with it. I think I would play a little more with these background shapes. This one I think possibly isn't placed as well as it might be. Oops, wrong one. I kind of want it to be a little more. No. It's better there. And I could have duplicate this one. So if I chop it off and change my mind later. Nope. What if I move that up so it really does look like a lock? Oh, and then these pieces could be more like keys, you know, an old fashioned key. Ooh. All right, let's try that. Um, yeah, I think I'll keep that one, but not that one like that. So I'm taking it out entirely. Now the key, which would probably be a different color than let's make this gold. Not that we have to stick to what it would look like in life, in real life. Oh, I like that better anyway. And then I'm going to do that is possibly the worst rectangle I've ever seen. And then say another one up here. This is starting to make this a little more complex, but that may or may not be all right. And then Another one here. Well, it's certainly adding pieces to it, huh? Maybe okay, maybe not, I'm not sure. I think it has some potential. This is not right now. It needs to slide down. That needs to tie in a little more, so I'll move it there. Kind of like it. Although I think I want this to be longer. run off the page. Do I want it a different size? Let's try it just as a larger piece coming down there. Yeah, I didn't think that was going anywhere and here we are. Kind of like that. Okay. I don't mind that one either. That's going away. All right, do we have anything else? What did we have? Any? I think that was about it. So I have four designs out of this, and I think that's pretty good. 
So the most recent one here I kind of like all of these, and I like the first one very much too. And I'll put a photo up there <laughs> above the video. Okay, so what is my favorite? I think the first one might have been, but honestly, this one is winning me over. Hmm. Let me know in the comments which one you like or what you might have done differently. That's always fun to, to hear. And of course, continue to post your own designs. Now for next time, I had several options and they keep going through my head. Let's go with this one and it's going to be something from the kitchen something about your kitchen or something from the kitchen. I think that should be kind of interesting just to see what people choose and where they go with it. That is it for this week. Next Wednesday, I'll be working with two and a half inch squares again. And on Sunday, we will do week six, which will be our final. I want you to know that I have been working on my HST pieces and putting them together. They are coming together. And I just finished piecing the crane dance quilt, so you can check that out on my Facebook page. I posted that this morning. So I hope I will see you on Wednesday and or Sunday. In the meantime, be well, be happy, be quilting. Peace out.